Okay, so we're talking about uh, data path and control, and we're going to go over uh, some I type instructions. Um, these are a little different than uh, R type and J type uh, in the fact that uh, the bottom 16 bits are uh, meaningful to us um, as a whole, bottom 16 bits. So in, in the case of a load word, um, that bottom 16 bits is going to be this immediate value, this offset uh, that we're going to add to this address uh, so that we can find some value in memory and read that value out and write it into a register uh, so we can use it uh, for something else. So um, if it, again, if you look on the uh, green sheet, uh, you can see uh, that uh, S1 here is our RT register and RS register is T1. So we can see that uh, here's here's a T1 right here is our RS register. Now there's now in T1 where we have uh, some sort of an address. That's where our address is stored. is is in here somewhere <clears throat> in a register, and we need uh, to add the offset. And here's the path of the offset uh, for the load word. We're gonna get to, we're gonna read some address out of there, and once we once we get the value out of uh, that specific memory location, we're going to write it to a register. It's going to come over here and, and get written into uh, this specified register. Because if now if you look at uh, the formats on the green sheet, you can see that bits 25 through 21 is where RS uh, is. 20 through 16 is where RT is. And obviously, uh, the rest of those 16 are here. Now, our program counter in this case is just a typical program counter. We're not uh, manipulating it in any way other than adding 4 to it, as usual. And our, con our all of our control lines uh, look like this. Now, what we're doing in the ALU when we, when we do a load word is we're adding these two things together. We're adding these two things together. So our LU op code. Uh, is a zero zero. That means it's a hardwired, uh, if you will, um, add instruction for the ALU. And we're not using these uh, bottom six bits uh, any longer to to tell our ALU what to do because we need those for our uh, immediate. So um, again, in this in this case, we we see that uh, we have uh, the mem read line is a one. Uh, because we want to read some value out of uh, memory. And we're obviously not writing to that either. Um, now, again, with these multiplexers, we, we're, we have to make a choice. So memory to reg uh, is a 1. It's, it, it means y kind of we can think of this one as a yes, uh, because the name says memory to reg, so meaning we want data from the memory to go to some register, and that will be Yes, and you can see there's a one here for that. And then we want to write to that register. And then for register destination, obviously we need to we need to choose a zero. That's what this line needs to be, because we want this value here to be our write register. We want this register to be our write register. So uh, the other interesting thing about I type instructions is that there's another um, Another instruction uh, that is I type that is uh, rather different uh, from load word and, and store word is kind of the same there, um, but that's branch equal. So this time, um, our immediate value, this bottom 16 bits, represents an address rather than some sort of offset, some sort of integer. So um, we can go through this uh, one more time, or again, just like we did the last one. And this, uh, this time we're reading from both uh, RS and RT registers. And in the, case of, uh, in the case of this, we want to subtract those two and see if it's zero. So um, here's, I will do our control line here this time. And we can see that since uh, so if these two, if the result of the ALU is zero, then we'll send uh, a one out of the zero flag, it's a, this is a flag here. Okay, and we're obviously branching as well. So our AND gate gets two ones, which outputs a one. 
meaning that we, we're going to want this value right here. We're going to want this value. And what is there is this immediate value that we have. Okay, now we're going to shift shift that, uh, or multiply it by 4 and add it to the program counter, which we'll show. And you can see that um, these two, these two things get added together, and they get uh, ultimately passed through here. And that becomes our new uh, program counter, meaning our new uh, address, the address of the, the, the new and the next instruction that we want to uh, execute. So in this case, uh, you can see that the ALU op is a 0, 1. And that is, a, again, a hardwired, um, that is a hardwired subtract, because you want to take two values out of these out of the registers and you want to subtract them if they're the same and we subtract two numbers that are the same it should be zero meaning that they are the same 